Welcome to another Tech View vlog, this time in English because the topic is Selfish OS and the new 2.0.4.13 release. The early access release of Selfish OS 2.04 and I think some of you might be quite interested in listening to this or hearing about it also in English. Therefore I think I have a brighter audience when I do this uh, Tech View vlog in English. So let's go right into Media Space and take a look at the new early access version and some of the highlights of this new version. So let's go directly to my devices. Uh, here you can see my three um, Safish S devices, my Yola, my Yola C, my Yola tablet. And let's first go into the newest changes on those devices with the new early access release 2.04 and one of the first things that you'll notice is an updated browser engine so the updated uh, they updated the browser version to the gecko version uh, 38 which is an uh, LTS version so long release long support version so you should have support for this um, new version uh, regarding uh, HTML5 support for example regarding YouTube full screen mode that now works correctly and small corrections in the rendering of the web page in general so this is a quite good update for the browser there's still some things missing but um, like drag and drop or um, marking text or something like this so uh, but uh, basically the websites now work better with this new browser version. Let's switch to the Yola one to show you the next feature which is the calendar which has a nice new update. Uh, you might have known that you can of course um, have different calendars in here. You can just simply choose which one to show and especially useful if you have uh, online calendars or known cloud, next cloud instance um, or even Google or something like this if you are so crazy to use Google uh, you have the option to just simply share and sync stuff up but there wasn't a share or sync um, option in the calendar itself now it is so there's a new sync option which allows you to manually sync now in the um, pulley menu so you can sync from the calendar itself, you don't need to go into the settings anymore. This is this, there's a new line showing current time added uh, to day view. So let's go into day view. Um, by creating a new entry I guess. Um, here we are. Here we are. So there's a new line in the day view, and as you can see, uh, pretty much an empty uh, calendar in this case. So not not uh, much to see here. And um, there's a remote timer now added to events opened from the alarm dialog of the calendar, for example, which is pretty handy. And so there are some fixed issues of the calendar widget in events view um, not showing up. So right here where it should show up. So these are the updates for the calendar. Let's go to the biggest device, the Yola tablet. I hope it's completely in the frame. And now it's sharp. The uh, calculator got an update as you can see from the on, on the side you now have some um, scientific uh, calculations that are possible sinus cosinus tangens um, logarithm of natural and the uh, one of the base 10 uh, p e and some other options are available here square root and even um, even uh, brackets are available if you want to have really really 
um, long and uh, really complicated calculations in the calculator. This is possible now by going into the landscape mode. If you go into the normal portrait mode, you can see the uh, calculator is uh, the simple one, but in landscape mode you have the scientific now, which is pretty, pretty neat for the calculator. Now let's go to some other features. Of course the camera was updated, uh, the camera application uh, was updated, got an update, so you can um, now store, or it stores now pictures uh, from uh, various different devices, especially useful uh, with new uh, timestamp in the file name, so you can uh, distinguish between the different devices more easily, which is pretty nice. And uh, of course the camera uh, defaults to the viewfinder mode, uh, when uh, closed or when not used in the background, which is uh, also pretty nice, especially useful if you want to have it in the background running and uh, then have it as, as quick access, basically, if you want to shoot some photos. Uh, the uh, EXIF uh, data of photos was fixed. There was an uh, issue with this. This is fixed now. And um, yeah, this is basically the camera app that got an update. Then there is some other update for the gallery app that I want to show you on the YOLO one in this case. You have now the option if you have a nice photo just like me from myself. Uh, what was it? I think Star Wars Day and Towel Day uh, somehow collided and this is the result. Uh, in the gallery app now you have an easy option to edit your images. So in this case you can see I have the option to change the contrast of the image uh, just like I want to. Uh, by clicking here and you have, you can see I can change the contrast a little bit, make it look classic. Uh, and of course I have also the option to change the brightness of the image. Then I have also the possibility to just simply uh, choose and yeah, basically choose an, a part of the image that I want to cut out, uh, that I will crop to into, as you can see very easily um, done. And as you can see you have also some options, just like for example you can choose uh, this one as an av avatar image for, for your um, contacts or ambiente uh, or ambience in this case where you can just simply choose or it basically um, chooses an, 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 um, a part of the image that it thinks that would be cool uh, and of course you have the original uh, scaling of the of the image itself that you can choose here and you have some others uh, just like 4 to 3 or 4 to uh, 3 to 4 or 4 to 3 uh, aspect ratios that you can choose for the cropping of the image. Then you have of course the option to just simply um, a twist, uh, turn the image to the right or to the left, which is also pretty nice. Uh, especially useful if you just somehow, if the rotation sensor went wrong and you just simply uh, had uh, or created a, the image that is upside down or something like this. So these are the editing features in the gallery. Uh, the gallery editing supports not only JPEG files, but also the saving of uh, PNG and BMP files, etc. So all the files that are accessible via the SafeHOS operating system are now also uh, possible to edit and save into. Uh, there are some other updates for the YOLA media player. So if you go to the media player, you will see that the user interface changed slightly and the FM radio for the YOLA C and Intex Aqua Fish devices will have or will provide now and automatically a switching function for FM radio. And of course, it also allows you now, because you have to plug in your headphones uh, as an antenna for the FM radio, that you have then the option to just output the FM radio sound via the speakers and not the headphone itself only, which is also a pretty nice uh, feature for the new Safefish OS 2.04. And there is also a fix in the media player for flag files. So you have, uh, if you had problems with flag files, uh, lossless audio files, they should work now. 
these are basically the biggest changes in the Selfish OS 2.04. There are of course bug fixes here and there, security fixes here and there, and uh, power management fixes, especially so if you have a flight mode enabled, just like me here for my Jolla 1, where I have my flight mode enabled because there's no SIM card uh, currently in there. And yeah, this is uh, very useful uh, for battery draining issues. Uh, security uh, stuff was fixed. There is a new option in settings. Let me go back to the Yola C and to the settings for the file manager, first of all, uh, that you can find under settings, under data, under uh, space, data space or something like this. You can see that there are now nice little icons for the file manager and you have now the option if you want to share a file, just long press and hold click on share and then the share menu opens up and you can share the file via email or uh, Bluetooth which is a nice option especially if you want to just simply copy over from one phone to another little file via Bluetooth for example. Let me go back so you can see where you can find this in the uh, space I think or internal space basically there you can find it. Uh, there's a new Mm, there's a new entry called certificates. If you click on this, you have now the option to see the certificates of your emails or TLS certificates. You can see you can search for them. They are listed alphabetically here. And you can just simply click on one of them and uh, see the details of this certificate, as you can see here. And you can check everything if, is, if everything is okay with the certificate, which is uh, pretty nice as well. And uh, yeah, this I think is pretty sums pretty much up all the changes, the big visual changes that you will see in uh, Safe Um Oh, for SIM card users, of course, I only have one SIM card uh, in here for SIM card users. For dual SIM card users on the Yola C and Index Aquafish, you now will have the option to just simply name your uh, different SIM cards, uh, give it a name. So, which is pretty nice because I think on my Yola C test I had two Simio cards in here. So, Simio is my carrier. So, to distinguish between them two, you now have the option to just give them a name, which is pretty nice. Uh, I cannot show it here right now because I don't have a second Sim in the inserted. But basically, this works here as well. And these are basically all of the biggest changes in SafeShares 2.04. If you want to learn more, just go to the togetheryola.com website. I will think I will link to the release highlights or the release notes basically with the release highlights. And there is also a uh, change log and very detailed change log where you can change, uh, we can see the changes done to every package on the YOLA system, on the Safish S system uh, done by YOLA. So, um, yeah, this is basically everything for this little demonstration of Safish S 2.04. Let me zoom out and go back to vlogging mode. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of Safish S 2.04, the early access version. It might be that there are some fixes coming also in the final version, so if you're an Intex Aquafish user, uh, just be patient uh, until we test out because there might be still some bugs. So the LXS has has its makes makes sense for us first to figure out if there are bugs for us developers or testers to figure out if there are bugs, and uh, then if there are, uh, just fix them. Uh, you can read about uh, about the uh, 2.04 release and uh, bugs that got fixed and bugs that are still there or got newly introduced. Um, so uh, keep up on togetheryola.com if you want to stay up to date with the latest SafeShares releases. And yeah, this is everything for this uh, vlog. Uh, thanks for watching and until the next time.